Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca. And I'm Sean. And welcome to... Our Life Growing Old and Rebecca's Gastric Sleeve Journey. Yep, that's what this is about. Last Friday I went to the doctor and I went to see my regular doctor. Um, and of course I had to have an A1C which is my diabetes. And so we were waiting on it to come back and I started talking with my doctor and I told him I took his advice and went and saw Dr. Callista, um, who is the surgeon who does the bypass. Uh, the sleeve. The sleeve, yeah. I'm sorry, the sleeve. And he got excited. And then she walked in and he handed me the piece of paper and he was so excited. I am one-tenth of a point away from not being a diabetic anymore. So he took me off of one of the diabetes medicine. Um, he said that I didn't need that anymore. And probably by the time I go back in there, I won't need the diabetic mes medicine at all. Well, she's been losing weight. Uh, she's actually lost uh, quite a bit of weight. Yeah, just from February to when I went back in to see him, I had lost seven pounds. So he was excited about that. But you, I mean, you've lost even more than that. Yeah, I've lost about a total of 30 pounds. Yeah. Um, and probably more than that because when I told him that and I told him I needed to lose 15 pounds, um, he got excited. <laughs> I said, I tell him, come home. Sean and I used to call him Dr. Doom and Gloom, but he was Dr. Happy with me, just well, so excited. He was always Doom and Gloom with me. It's, I don't really, I don't take care of myself very well. No. So he's always, uh, if you don't do this, you know, you're going to be on dialysis. If you don't do this, you're going to die. I'm just like, <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> with me, he's nothing like that. He's Mr. Happy. Sean would have been shocked. Um, he got excited when I told him I went and saw him. And then I said, oh, you want to know something? I said, they pay 100%. And he was like, he'd come up out of his chair and he goes, are you kidding me? And I said... No, are you ready for something else? He goes, no, what? And I says, they pay. I say, I have no wait time because a lot of people have to wait six, three to six months. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Come up out of this chair again. He goes, do you want to lose that 15 pounds real quick? And I said, well, yeah. I mean, it's taken me three months to lose seven, you know, uh, seven to seven is 14. I, it's going to take me six months. So he gave me two medications, an appetite suppressant and um, another pill that is supposed to take away the cravings. Um, I don't like them, but I'm using them and I am down. I, I keep losing the weight and I can tell the difference. I'm not eating as much. Um, I have a whole nother week. Tomorrow will be one week. I go back, um, I have my Zoom class What's and that for? That Zoom class is a dietitian. Um, I will learn what to do after my surgery. And then I have to get in the car that day. Right after I'm done, I have to get in the car and drive to Cuyahoga Falls. Um, it takes me about 25 minutes, and I have a doctor's appointment um, to meet the surgeon. Um, I will find out. Um, if my cardiologist has signed off on the um, surgery um, and if my primary, which I already know, he, he probably signed it with <laughs> balloons and smiley faces knowing him because um, he, he's all for it um, for me to have this done. And he's just real impressed with me and he's just, you know, very excited for me to have this done. And he will help me along um, any way he can. And that's just, I even asked him, what do you think this doctor will say? He says, oh, I know Walt real well. He'll be thrilled that I helped you, you know, lose your 15 pounds. And he says, and once you've lost it, you can go off that medication and you know, you don't have to even come back and see me. Um, the law requires me being on this medication, Ohio law. Um, he is a, my, that doctor that I go to, Dr. Anderson, is a weight loss specialist and licensed by the state of Ohio to do this. Um, so um, 
you have to go every month. If you miss a month, then you can't go back on this medication for six months. So Ohio, the state of Ohio is very strict with this medication. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty happy that this doctor knows what he's doing. And um, if it takes me two months, it takes me two months. You know, if I go in there and I'm a pound short, I'm a pound short and I'll just, you know, take it for another month. Um, I'll be happy to get off of it. Um, I don't know if it upsets my, I don't know if it upsets my stomach or I don't know if I don't like the way it makes me feel, but I'm just struggling to get through it because I want the surgery. That's how bad I want the surgery. And I was afraid it would take me six months to lose the weight um, and not get in there until sometime next year. And I joined a support group on Facebook that is 50 plus on the sleeve. And um, I've been seeing a lot of people that a really strict diet of liquid diet before they do the surgery. And my doctor doesn't require that. They require me to lose a percentage of my um, body, the BMI, I think, yeah. body mass. Body mass index. Yeah, body mass index. And mine just happened to be 15 pounds. Um, so as soon as I lose that, and as I said, if I don't do it for two months, I don't do it for two months. Um, I know where I'm at and I know how many more pounds I have to go and it's not much. Um, maybe I can do it. I don't think I will do it by next Tuesday, but I should do it by my next appointment in July. So I know I at least have another month of this medication. And then I have to go back and see Dr. Anderson, my primary, on the 16th of June. And he'll give me another month of these pills. But after that, I should be, I should be down to where I want to go. He told me if I fasted, um, I could get there. But I am not a faster a fasting person. <laughs> I don't like just to sit and drink liquids and not eat anything. My stomach does not agree with that. Um, and I haven't been eating. I was eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'm lucky to get breakfast or lunch in and then eat dinner. So it's just a struggle right now with me. But I'm working on I mean, I'm working on it, and I'm trying to get it down. So that's where I stand right now, as I said. Oh, and I also have a psych exam. I should say a mental health exam on um, uh, the not this coming Thursday, the Thursday after. So I go to the doctor on Tuesday. That following Thursday, I have my um, mental health exam. And so then I'll know more after that. What? I know. <laughs> fingers um, crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed on that one. Um, and I know they asked me a lot in the thing, you know, do you have a support system. Well, I do. I have a I have family, I have my church, good friends. I mean, I have a lot of support, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but I have that too. And I'll let you know how that one goes too. That's another video. We'll probably sit here and laugh about it. Um, they asked me about my family, which I cracked up. I was sitting there, you know, what kind of relationship do you have? And I was laughing as I was checking my boxes. And I'm going to tell you the paperwork was out of this world because I couldn't get it to, I couldn't get it to go through. And it must have took me six or seven times. I was so frustrated. I just wanted to scream. And they were asking, do you get frustrated? And I <laughs> wanted to put, yes, 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 with your paperwork because I couldn't get it to go through. So it was funny. Um, you had to have been here to see me trying to do it. It was hilarious. Um, but, and I thank you for everybody. I've gotten te a text. I've gotten message messaging instant messenger 
Um, I've gotten all kinds of people that have wrote me supporting me. I thank you. Just please follow along with me. Send me messages. I love it. I know that you're standing beside me. And I love the love that you are all sending me. And I appreciate every single message. It makes me feel so good to know that you guys are with me through this. Um, that's the one thing that I have is your support. But I'll let you know and I'll keep you up to date on everything. Other than that, everything's going along good. And I'll talk to you soon. I love you all. Bye. Mwah.